Anthony Albanese. Referendum. If the next weekend failed. Saying that it would be inappropriate. Eliminating a sound law to Parliament. When asked if the sound would not be completely away if he does not vote. The Prime Minister answered, right. ABC said to the inside. The local Australians said that they wanted a protected voice. What they don't want to do is. What they do over and over again. A part of establishing representative organizations. Just for opportunistic reasons. Seeing a government will just eliminate and eliminate it. On Saturday. Since 1999. Australians will go to polls to vote in first referendum. Where they will be asked whether they accepted an Acorigen and Torres Strait Islander in. Constitution. Already. Including the Prime Minister. About 2 million people came to the fore. There is a referendum to fail all the published surveys. But Mr. Albanese says that the Australians will come together and vote yes. During guidance of referendum in Uluru, campaignists said that campaignists said that making a sound in constitution could not be abolished. Unless there was another referendum. Prime Minister Anthony Arnavutu voted for the sound early on Sunday with his son Nathan. The opposition leads accusation for Prime Minister to legislate it a voice and recognize the people of Australian people in only one referendum. Opposition leader Susan Lay told Sky News that it was a losing regardless of next Saturday result. But the country had to provide come together ISIN to advance next day. The next day will be bad, divisive and unhappy for the Australians. So we need to bring the country together, he said. He said that the Liberal Party is still determined to enact regional and local voices and decided to recognize Indigenous Australians in the Constitution without a separatist sound. Opposition leader Peter Dutton announced last month if coalition was going to win next election. He explained his intention to make a second referendum for recognition of First Nations but then diluted his commitment after withdrawal of Senator Price. Lay said that a second referendum supports our determination to recognize domestic Australians in our constitution when a second referendum was combined with legislatives. Mr. Albania, if the referendum fails, domestic people will move away because they do not want legislation. While unstable Australians begged parliament referendum to vote for referendum. Mr. Albania doubled one basic arguments of campaign to declare one basic arguments as great lie. The authority said it has always been more difficult to convince Australians Australians. And that only 8 of 44 referendums in history of Australia were successful. But arguments no campaign levels are harmful and dishonest Albania. Coalition Native Australians spokesman and campaignist Jacinta Nampajinpa Prices claim that the sound of Australia will divide Australia is a big lie. He said, there are currently race forces in our co.